Welcome to Cross Gems. In this video, we are going to do an infinity shank. First of all, we are going to start going to rings, select the infinity shank. Now we are going to select the size, in this case, seven. And top width, we are going to select 2.6. Top thickness 2 and the split distance maybe 3.1. We're going to select bottom. We're going to select the width end on 2 and the bottom this thickness in 2. We're going to select OK and the next step is set the gem on ring. We are going to select the pier. Gem cut pier, and we are going to select size 5.2. We have to rotate the gem at 90 degrees and move around into the, the hole and move the good distance to fit it. I think that there is OK, so we select OK, and now we select Gem, we go to Gem Settings, and select Head. We are going to delete the bottom rail, and move up the rail. and move the inclination to to fit in in the hole. I think that there is okay. So maybe reduce the top height. I think it's okay. So we go to the prongs and we reduce CO10 of thickness and width. And we are going to modify the sharp, the sharpness of the prongs 0 0.5. We modify the height. Perfect. We select OK and we will cut the, the prongs until the, the rail, but it will be in the last steps. Now we are going to select gem ring. We select the gem flower and the size 2.0. Select transfer and give the distance 2.2. .2. This is okay. We are going to select OK and we select flower, gem settings and prongs on gem. Now we go to the size and select 0 0.55 and the height 0 0.2 and select OK. The next step is uh, create an ISO curve and add the gems on the curve. So we are going to select tools and ISO curve. We select the side and press enter. And we confirm. Now we go to gems and Jameson curve. We select the ISO curve 
and we move the star point there is okay and we disable both sides move the endpoint 0 0.72 the gen size will be 1.2 We select the space between gems, 0 0.1, and we have to move again the star point to touch the, the prong. We move the end point a little more. Good. The next step is set the gem placement in table and press OK. Now we go gem settings and prong show. We select the gems on the curve. We go to the end, single prong and end prong. We click on settings and we're gonna reduce the height and the thickness the thickness 0 0.55 and the height 0 0.1. We set the display in wireframe. If we want to see better the gems and the, the prongs inside, we move horizontal 0 0.15. Yeah. Now we press OK. Now we have the principal gems and we have to do the channel cutter and the gem cutters. So we go cutters, select channel cutter, select the gems on, on curve. We select caps and disable both sides. The start cap type, we select sharp. and the end will be the squad. So we need uh, the end cap a little more uh, deep and the end cap we are going to move uh, 0 0.6. Okay, it fits good, so we press OK. Now we select cutters and gem cutter. We select the gems on curve. And there is the cutters. So we press OK because we don't need to modify anything more. And we only need the, the holes. The next step is gem cutter on the flower. We select cutters, gem cutter. We select the flower. We go to the crown and crown taper we select zero because we want uh, a perfect circle of the diameter of the gem. So we go options, select deep 2.5 and the bottom taper we are going to select less 0.4 with the middle button with the scroll and I, we can set the display mode and wireframe to see the, the gem cutter we press ok and we have everything that we need the last step is the cut to ring to cut the prongs of the head. So we go the cutters, we select cut to ring, we select the head, we go to ring and select self. 
with the middle button, with the scroll, we can move the, the slider and select the card that we want. I think that there is perfect. We select OK and there is. The next step is mirror the channel cutters, the Jameson curve and the prongs. So we go tools, select mirror, we select the channel cutter and the gems cutter. We go mirror and select mirror vertical and mirror diagonal and select OK. And there is. We are going to hide the settings and select mirror, select the gems and the prongs. Now we go mirror and select vertical and diagonal and press OK. We are going to mirror again the pier. So we go to objects to mirror, select the pier and the head. It's the cat centering. Yeah. We disable uh, horizontal and select diagonal. Select OK. We come here and show the settings again. Now we are going to select tools, body and difference. We select the ring and we have to select in object all the channel cutters and the gem cutters. We have uh, a way to do easy. So we go and hide the settings and hide the gems. Even we can hide the, the rails if you want. Now we have only the, the cutters, but we have the boolean open, so we have to close and open the boolean again. We close and select the boolean again, boolean difference, select the ring, and now in object B only appears the, the cutters. So we are going to select everything. Now we press OK. We select the display and we are going to show everything. We can change the display, select render, and change the material of the gems. We are going to select the emerald on the flower and uh, having to rename the in the peers and select the right reset view. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, subscribe us.